Hi there guys, I'm Danny, and welcome to this episode of All Monsters Go To Space. Today I'm going to be starting the first part of a small little mini-series of videos. So, I'll just get right into it then. Literally meaning beckoning cat, the common Maneki Neko figurine is one of the most well-known Japanese figures. There are so many folklores in the origin of this cat that I will be covering them in a future video. Now the figure is of a cat, usually a Japanese calico bobcat, beckoning with a left, right or both paws raised. Even to this day the Japanese people regard these things to be lucky and will bring the owner good fortune. And so people will have manekineko talismans in their bedrooms or in other places of study to bring about success. Businesses also tend to have a figure of varying sizes and designs outside of their establishments or in the entrance, most commonly in restaurants and shops. Some of these figures, even the little household ones, can be motorised either by perpetual motion, an electric outlet, but most commonly they're battery powered. The Manekineko was believed to have come from Tokyo, which was then in the Edo period. Others say that it was actually from Kyoto. In the Edo period, apparently it was a common practice for the wealthy to dress up their cats in kimonos, bibs and have a little bell. People say that it was either based on the Manekineko, or this was actually the start of Manekinekos looking the way they do. Now in 1876, during the Meiji era, there was a newspaper article that showed a Manekineko wearing a kimono for sale. It shows that they were being sold at the time at least, and then a separate advert in 1902 showed that they had become exceedingly popular. In the later 20th century, when more foreigners travelled to Asian countries, a slight misunderstanding seemed to occur. They believed the cat was waving rather than beckoning. This happened because of the differences in gestures. In Japan in particular, the way they beckon is to hold up a hand, palm down, and then folding the fingers repeatedly. So this has led to a few figures now having the paw facing up to seem more familiar to Westerners. Some have even said that the cats look like they are actually washing their faces. In Japan, it is believed that the cat washing its face brings visitors, or signals that there will be a visitor, whereas in China, they believe it means that it will rain. Duan Qingyi, the author, wrote in the Miscellaneous Morsels of Yu Yong, If a cat raises its paw over the ears and washes its face, then patrons will come. Their popularity throughout China has actually led some people to think that the Menekineko was originally from there. And because of this, the figures are also called Qin Miao, or Golden Cat, or even the Chinese Lucky Cat. So to stop this video from getting too long, I'll be covering the variations of Manekinekos and their meanings in another video. So subscribe to make sure that you don't miss that or any of our other content. Leave a like, a comment, and I'll see you in my next one.